Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Peter from Various Arts Media and you're watching My Breakdown. Today, we're diving into the rock scene, the new rock scene to be precise. No big name from the past today, but an upcoming band that makes music that honors the great classics while giving it their own modern sound. So without further ado, I present to you Holy Water by Inglorious. This song is featured on the band's self-named debut album. To me, this album came across as an instant classic. These musicians show off a wide variety of what they can do, from rocking straightforward to a more sensitive feel without losing too much power. Combine this with the voice of Nathan James, one of the best singers I've heard these last few years, and you get a really fun album to listen to. But let's not forget, this is not a review, so how about we check out what Holy Water is all about. It's essentially a sensitive rock ballad about a man who can feel his soul being sick. Nathan James almost makes it feel as if he's just come to this realization two seconds ago and is singing about his revelation while it's still going on. We quickly turn to the likes of an addict as Nathan's soul needs something and he's praying to get it. All pride has left his body as his girl is trying to get him better. He sings to the metaphorical holy water to take his soul and take him away. This chorus sounds more like a cry for help, which you can suddenly realize is weird, since somehow we got there starting from the revelation of a man understanding his problems. The last verse goes back from that cry into the revelation as Nathan realizes he has been set free by being put down to rock bottom first. We get back to the chorus and even though this was the last verse, this song is definitely not over at this point. I normally focus only on lyrics, but the feel that has been put in the solo that follows this part simply has to be mentioned. The short part that Will Taylor presents has kind of a weird vibe for this song, yet fits perfectly on an emotional level. After this, the pace picks up and Swedish guitar player Andreas Eriksson is up for his moment of glory. What Will brings in feeling, Andreas brings in sheer technical strength. After this, we hit a high note quite literally as Nathan James gets out his pipes for the grand finale of this song. I've now mentioned Nathan James and the two guitar players Will and Andreas, but let me point out that this band consists of great musicians all around and would not be able to get the same feeling out of their songs without their bass player Colin Parkinson and their drummer Phil Beaver. It is the combination of these people that throw out a sound I haven't heard in quite some time. Be sure to check them out, and especially if you get a chance to see them live. This was the best support act I have ever seen live, and if they can keep this quality up, they will not be a support act for a very long time. I for one will be happy to follow them from here on out. And with that note I will conclude this episode, see you guys next time. <laughs>